she threatened, Potiphar's wife made sure that Joseph was thrown in prison. But Joseph was a model prisoner, and soon his good behavior earned him the position of prison supervisor. I had such a strange dream last night. I was in the Pharaoh's fields, tending to a vine with three branches. The buds suddenly blossomed and ripened into grapes. So I squeezed the grapes into his cup and gave his majesty the sacred juice to drink. What do you think it means? I have no idea. When you awake from a slumber of dreaming, tell Joseph your dreams. Make no mistake, he'll uncover the meaning. Tell Joseph your dreams. For Joseph can speak in the language of dreaming. He'll uncover the plot and the themes. A glimpse of tomorrow and what it's revealing. Tell Joseph your dreams. I can tell you what your dream means. <laughs> Who invited you into our conversation, Hebrew? I'm sorry, I, I was only trying to be helpful. Wait, tell me what you think the dream means. The three branches of the vine represent three days. In three days, you will be pardoned and return to your position as cupbearer to the Pharaoh. This is wonderful news. How can I ever repay you? Perhaps one day you can ask the Pharaoh to pardon me. Yes, if what you say is true and I get my freedom back, I'll be sure to put in a good word for you. <clears throat> I uh, also had a dream last night. Can you interpret mine as well? Go ahead. I had... Uh, Three baskets filled with breads and pastries for the pharaoh. When birds flew out from the sky and ate off the breads in my basket. Hmm. The three baskets in your dream also mean three days. But I'm afraid the news is not good. Tell me. In three days, you will be taken from the prison and hanged by order of the Pharaoh. I... I don't believe you. You're, you're just trying to scare me with your lies. I curse you, Hebrew. As Joseph predicted, the cupbearer was freed and the baker was hanged. But two years passed before the cupbearer remembered his promise. Your wine, Pharaoh. Not now. Can't you see I'm in anguish? What's wrong, sire? No one can tell me the meaning of my two dreams. Not even the wisest men in Egypt! Sire, two years ago, in prison, I met a man with a gift for reading dreams. Perhaps he can shed light on things. Cupbearer says you can interpret dreams. Yes, sire. My father told me it was a gift from God. I hope your God is with you today, because if you disappoint me, both you and the cupbearer will be sent back to prison and remain. 
remain there for the rest of your lives. Tell me your dream, Pharaoh. When you awake from a slumber of dreaming, tell Joseph your dreams. Make no mistake, he'll uncover the meaning. Tell Joseph your dreams. For Joseph can speak in the language of dreaming. He'll uncover the plot and the themes. A glimpse of tomorrow and what it's revealing. Tell Joseph your dreams. I was standing on the banks of the Nile when seven of the healthiest cows I had ever seen appeared out of the water. As those cows grazed in the reeds, seven of the skinniest, sickest cows I've ever seen appeared out of the Nile too. The scrawny cows came up behind the healthy cows and devoured them, ate them whole. Seven ears of grain, the largest and most golden grain I had ever seen, grew up out of the ground. But as I was admiring the golden grain, seven ears of sun-seared dying grain grew up out of the ground and ate the healthy grain. mean the same thing. God is telling you what he intends to do. Mm -hmm. The seven healthy cows and the seven healthy years of grain mean seven years of great abundance. The seven sick cows and seven years of dead grain mean seven years of terrible famine. about this my lord you need to collect food now while it's plentiful and prepare for the seven years of famine yes I see now what must be done and you Joseph you will be in charge of collecting the food me your highness yes I believe that you are the wisest man in Egypt give me your finger Joseph This signet ring is a symbol of your new appointment as High Governor of Egypt. After me, you will be the most powerful man in all of Egypt. I am honored, sire. For seven years, Joseph traveled all over Egypt collecting food. 